there are two masters sitting together and they have the argument. One is the Feng Shui master and the other is astrology master. Both of them are very famous in the field. The astrology master said, I don't think Feng Shui can change someone's fate. If our fate can be changed by Feng Shui, then why I was so accurate in my astrology prediction for my clients. Besides that, the Chinese would only have one dynasty, not so many dynasties. It was because the emperor would have the top and best Feng Shui masters helping them. But their dynasty still collapsed. Therefore, it proved that, that Feng Shui did not exist. The Feng Shui master argued that if astrology was so accurate and life could not be changed, then why there were some history recorded that some people who did the astrology when they were young, everything happened as the astrologers say in the young age, but totally changed in the middle age. And the most famous typical case was Yun Liu Fan case. How could you explain this happen? Well, both of them have very good point of view. How can we judge who is right and who is wrong? Or both of them are right, or both of them are wrong. In the Chinese metaphysics view, both of the astrology and feng shui were existing over thousands of the years. Does it mean something for you?